Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, boys, guys, like I said, there's coming, there's new subscribers, all the subscribers, just generally anybody who still watches these videos, uh, welcome back. Incoming! <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, this is probably going to be a, a, a quick video. I do have a video from England, and I do, it's not, there's no racing footage in it. And I do have a video from when I recorded one before I went to England. And, uh, this one's a bit of an update. Whee! So, as you all know, I went to Donington and I went to Ron Haslin and I raced around to Donington and I had fun. And, uh, I was keeping a bit of a a positive head on for the trip because well this this is this is gonna be great so I left the house at 4 a.m. on a Tuesday morning uh, got on the boat at Dublin and I traveled from Dublin to Hollyhead and I'm standing on the boat getting ready to get off and my phone rings it's one of the guys that I work with telling me that we're being made redundant again so he proceeded to tell me that we're all being made redundant and that he was phoning me to tell me before I had got a phone call or a letter which thank you very much for letting me know that's fine I then had to sit riding this bike for three hours in my own head thinking about the news which if you've ever been made redundant for it's not really great news to be pulled all together in your workplace and be told that but it's even worse news when you're not even there to be told that and then you get a, a phone call from a mate who's telling you that and you can't do anything about it so fast forward three hours I got a message from my boss must have got it like umpteen miles into the journey uh, Facebook message from my boss saying hey couldn't get in contact with you can you phone me phoned him and it was basically the the European made redundant spiel and finished it all off was really sorry I had to tell you this news at the start of your holiday not a big deal really I mean been there near 13 years I mean I've milked all the free money out of them I could probably get some more but you know can't take the money from the big roofless company the worst thing about it was I was actually off all that week so it wasn't as if I was like coming home on the Thursday and going back into work on the Friday I came home when when I came out of the track day the half when I had the track day, I came out that afternoon to see then that the news had hit the media and it was like, yeah, well, now this just confirms that it's happening and yay. <laughs> so now I'm in the, fuck off, now I'm in the, what they call the consultation period which means you can do about a half day's work before you get a meeting and then a couple of days later you get a meeting and then a couple of days later you get another meeting and everybody's doing the insane crazy I want this and I want that and oh, yeah. just for context the job that warehouse that I'm in was the warehouse I went to to avoid the last redundancy package that was about two three years ago so I have skipped redundancy with the same company twice now well once so this is the second time so maybe they'll get me but this time really I am I'm just pretty much resigned that I'm taking the money getting my date and I'm gonna get myself a wee job working in a a motorbike shop or you know like a a motorbikey type place because donkey deserves that and i think donkey needs 
a job where he's actually highly interested in the stuff that they sell. So as of the news, I know there's a few people who like kind of regu regularly comment on my videos asking me about bicycle stuff. That now stops because, well, <laughs> I'm resigned to leaving, so I'm not doing them any more favors. And I know people will say, sure, they'll not miss it, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's no my problem. That was the thing I did out of the, well, people asked a question and I pointed them in the direction of this place. You know, that, that, that was my decision. But onwards, upwards and, or onwards and upwards, they say. But maybe if you own a little business in Belfast, Northern Ireland, County Down and Andrum direction, and it's motorbike orientated, and you're looking for someone, you know, hit me up. I'll even do some, well, I'd say free work, but I'm not really a free work type of guy. What I'm really looking is for a Monday to Friday, with a few hours at the weekend, maybe just to earn an extra bit, but as it stands, the plan is get my date, get my money, get out, have another job to walk out of mine to walk into, and then look for a cushy number and see what happens. But hell yeah, just a little life update. I, I did get a wee bit hectic there when I did get back, so totally my fault. Things are back on track. I'm just taking a few days to process the redundancy news and then I'm back at it again. I have one announcement in the works. And that announcement is going to cause me to have to change my tyres. Um, if you already know, you know. If you don't, you will be notified just beforehand. And if you want to know, I've been given some new tyres to try out. That is all, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. It don't take much. I'm not going to run and rave about redundancies and job losses and stuff because, well, it's not in my nature. Uh, don't forget, keep it lit. And if you can't keep it lit, are you in the right job to keep it lit? Ha 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 ha!